Dear Mew, I have a story to tell you guys. B, 16 years old, live in a small town in Illinois. Complete pleb who liked Lincoln Park, System of a Down, etc. You know the deal. Use B irregularly, and one day I click on Mew because why not? It's not weeaboo shit like the other boards. See a thread on Pick Related. Download it, become obsessed with it, and even buy it on CD. Listen to it time after time. Completely socially retarded. Only two friends, both of whom are also socially retarded, go to church every weekend, not because my parents are religious or anything, but because it's part of my life. I'm not an r slash atheist either, really, just find church really boring. One day, a new family shows up in church and sits next to us. They have a really, really cute daughter my age. Brown hair, blue eyes, around 5'4", pretty as all fuck. H Hi, Anon, I'm new to this town. Wanna show me around? Her blue eyes open wide and look straight into mine. First time I'd made legit eye contact in two years. This is love at first sight. Uh, okay, there's not really much. I take her around town and show her all the shitty main street stores. Turns out she's from New York and she likes the small town atmosphere. She goes to my school, but we don't have that many classes together. Still, she sits with me and my two loser friends and pretends to be interested in our stupid conversations about Vidya and shit. Always sits next to me. Always. We have one class together. Chemistry and she asks to come over to my house to study once a week. I say okay, but in my head I'm like, oh my fuck, yes. We lie on my floor or bed, studying together, all this sexual and romantic tension. We always listen to her music, which is always 60s pop, like The Beatles or The Supremes or Sam Cooke, shit like that. One Thursday, I put on Illinois, which by this point I've listened to like a hundred times, start singing along to it for no reason. You have a nice voice, Anon, you should sing more. We stop studying, just lie on the bed in complete silence. One by one, the songs wash over us. I can remember every detail of that day. The plain brown sweater she had on, the light rain outside, the carrots my mom gave us as a snack. Casimir Pulaski Day comes on. This is my favorite song, and I tell her that, breaking like 20 minutes of silence. We look straight into each other's eyes, and when Sufyang sings, kiss you on the neck, I kiss her on the neck gently. Holy fucking balls, I'm blushing so hard it's not even funny. And then she starts laughing. What the fuck did I do? Did I just fuck up so hard? What the fuck am I doing? Costanza.jpegged myself. Fuck everything. She kisses me back on the lips, and eventually it evolves into a full-on makeout session. Afterwards, we go back to silence for a few minutes and then make out again. The greatest day of my entire life. I walk her back to her house, 20 minutes away, leave her at the front door with another kiss. Anon, are we boyfriend and girlfriend now? Yeah, guess so. She smiles so fucking big, I wanna die. Walk back to my house listening to Casimir Pulaski Day the whole time. One and a half years later, we're still dating and still hang out with my loser friends. Life is amazing, and we wanna get married. One day, she gets sick. Headaches, dizzy spells, etc. One day, develops into weeks. She goes to hospital and finds out she has an inoperable, extremely malignant brain tumor. I watch her quickly descend into not even recognizing who I am. Her face remains beautiful throughout. Her eyes still paralyze me. 34 days after she goes to the hospital, she dies. 10 days after Casimir Pulaski Day. It's been a year since, and I feel extremely suicidal. I don't go to college. Mostly sit in my room and play video games and listen to the promise ring all day. Forgot about this site. Came back and there were a lot of feels threads. I don't know what I'm ever going to do in my life. I still masturbate to her every night and feel guilty afterwards. I haven't felt anything for anyone but her since the first time I looked into her eyes. I don't want to kill myself because I don't believe in the afterlife, but I need something to do that doesn't remind me of her. This is the most writing I've done in a year. I need to get the fuck out of my house and out of this town, but I'm not rich and I can't make it by myself in this state. In the morning, through the window shade, when the light pressed up against your shoulder blade, I could see what you were reading. All the glory.